Okay, so I'm gonna jump on mutation in my jeans. I've heard this one is one of the best 25s in the North Island. Uh, we're at the Frog Pond today. Uh, this one is super technical climbing on fairly small holds and slopers. Uh, so let's see how it goes and how many attempts it takes, but I plan to get this one put away in today. I need to play. Step up, step up. Up, up, up. Whoa.
so that one was mutation in my genes uh 25 7b uh, pretty awesome route uh, really really good climbing on excellent rock uh, you start off on uh, some fairly small crimps make a big lock off move out to the side pool from the side pool you're going to go up to another crimp and then move on a lock off to uh, a sloper kind of pinch thing on the arete uh, from the pinch you're going to move your feet around over to the left hand side and come up to two ledges uh, you can go onto the first one but the second one's going to be better go onto the right hand side of that match that with the left hand make your draw uh, from there you're going to bring your feet into position and make another lock off move fairly long to a decent crimp and then there's another crimp next to it uh, from there you're going to come into the crux of the route which is uh, moving from high feet on the right hand side on a three finger drag kind of mainly two fingers on there pretty pretty rubbish crimp drag thing you're gonna lock off with that one without looking too much because uh, you'll push yourself off the route and you're gonna come round onto a, a sloper pinch from the sloper pinch you're gonna come out onto a little crimp and then come further next to the draw into a side pull once you hit that side pull uh, there's two next to each other that you can crimp on and make that next draw then you can move up into a pinch uh, which is just above the draw and then you're gonna make a really big lock off move. Once you put your feet in position again, you're gonna come left foot up onto a little foothold, come right across and hit a, a three finger facing down drag crimp thing. Uh, once you hit that, you've pretty much got through the hardest moves and you just need to match on that one. It's kind of like a, a right angled shape. So you're gonna come down onto that one, crimp on the right hand side of it, uh, and then bring your feet up, uh, twist your hips close to the wall, come up to another, fairly bad slopey crimp uh, from there into another sloper then into your final gaston move bring your feet high and go for the final holds which is a three finger drag and then straight to the lip mantle onto the lip and make the anchors absolutely amazing climb uh, definitely is one of the best 25s uh, that i've jumped on uh, and went down in about five or six attempts uh, yesterday probably should have gone down faster um, but i'm so happy that it, it went down because it's really technical climbing probably not uh, my style that much um, so I've, I'm going to jump on it again and uh, do it a few more times and make sure I can fully comprehend the moves of it uh, really really cool climb to do this climb you're going to need good body position and fairly decent strength but footwork and body position are more key to actually pulling on the holds because a lot of them are fairly poor holds but it's a, a pretty flat wall it's not overhanging or anything so you should be able to keep yourself onto the wall on these very poor holds just by having good body position good footwork uh, and when you're moving through the moves is uh, moving fairly fluidly and not dynamically if you're moving dynamically to some of these moves then you're just going to pop off that's what i found on moving to the sloper when i was trying to red point this climb i kept going to the sloper too dynamically uh, and then realized I had to get my hips close to the wall, body close to the wall, and really not look for the hold. I was trying to look over it to get to the sloper and I was coming off. Uh, not really look for the hold, just know it's there, come up to it and land the, the sloper, uh, and then be able to move from that as well, uh, nice and fluidly. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and if you did, please like and subscribe to support the channel, and leave a comment below if you know any climbs in the area around 25s, 26s that you'd like to be filmed like this, and if you want any other lower grade climbs done, then just let me know, and I'll get straight onto them.